Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, fur video. So we're going to have a look at the weather. The next 10 to 14 days, well today's fur video, day 10, is going to take us to the 3rd of October. We'll be able to extend out beyond that, the extended GFS and ECM ensembles that may run around a couple of weeks. Let's have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. The next four weeks, I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video release today was our 7 a.m. broadcast. We've also released uh, this week's European Outlook as well. So please check out all today's videos. If you'd like to do that, please write, share, subscribe. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. Uh, so I'm going to say thank you to our latest PayPal a donor, so thank you so so much to Neil Smith, who's given us a donation uh, through PayPal. Uh, Neil, absolutely fantastic! Uh, thanks so much uh, for doing that uh, for me and also uh, for, for Gaz uh, as well. You're absolutely one in a million, my friend. So, uh, if you'd like to uh, give a PayPal a donation to Gaz all you need to do is come to Gaz Weather's PayPal. Dot me page. You can find the link in the description uh, with all of the videos. So uh, just go to the PayPal page and you make whatever donation you want, you know, to get out of this and you get a shout out in videos. Assuming you want one. Some people like to say anonymous, but most people like a shout out. So uh, yeah, we'll give you a mention in the vids and say thank you uh, so much. Of course, there's also Patreon and also you can become a channel member with Gaz Web as well. So it's unbelievable. The support we get is always amazing and I'm always blown away, you know, uh, by the support that we get. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. And particularly thank you so much to Neil Smith for the donation. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much, Neil, for doing that. Right, going to begin in the uh, tropical Atlantic. So uh, we have uh, got uh, Rose just here. Uh, so post-tropical cyclone uh, Rose is uh, weakening all the time and will very soon be uh, disappearing off this uh, chart, I would have thought. So we don't have very much about that. We've also got this uh, orange X up here. That's disturbance one with a 50% chance of cyclone formation. In the next two days, and a five percent chance of uh, the sixty percent chance, I should say, in the next five days. Um, that's the remnants of Odette, and it might uh, reanimate over the next few days, but I think it will generally stay out at sea. It shouldn't, you know, impact too many uh, areas. More significantly, is eighteen uh, just here, right down with our southern part of the tropical Atlantic. So uh, that's tropical depression eighteen now giving uh, uh, maximum stay winds of 35 miles per hour with a minimum set pressure of 1,008 millibars. It's moving westwards at 15 miles per hour. So clicking on 18, we can see this is very soon going to become a named storm. I think it'll be Tropical Storm Sam by this time uh, tomorrow. It's going to power up into a hurricane by the look of it over the uh, weekend. And by the start of next week, uh, forecast to become a major hurricane. Uh, in the tropical Atlantic and looking like it's beginning to push uh, maybe towards parts of the Caribbean. So obviously uh, all eyes were going to be on this major hurricane, major hurricane Sam, um, you know, over the next few days. It might start going in that sort of direction. You know, it could could get towards the eastern South America. There's no evidence of that at the moment, of course, within the forecast of the National Hurricane Centre. But uh but yeah, you know, uh, it's going to be the main player uh, of the uh, of the Atlantic, or tropical Atlantic anyway, uh, through the course of uh, next week. It's going to become a major, major hurricane. So we'll keep a close eye on that, of course. Right, so coming back to home, central temperature is continuing its ever so, ever so, sl so slow drop. We've now gone under 17 degrees, so we are now at 16.9 which is 2.9 degrees above average. That's only 0.1 of a degree now off the uh, warmest September on record, which was in 2006. So 2006 is safe. Uh, this is going to drop further before the end of the month. We'll probably finish up somewhere around 16.0, I reckon. But we'll see. Uh, right, so uh, these are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Let's go. We look bright and today. So red lines are 30 at upper air temperature average will bright. If you'd like to have your local town or city feature within this part of the video, by the way, then uh, you know please let us know through the uh, comments or you can email us at gasofficegmail.com. So uh, let uh, you know. Let me know directly. Uh, right, so uh, we're going to be above average, still above average uh, as we have been all month so far for the next uh, few days. So into weekend, yes. Uh, we find that our bread temperatures are staying 
pretty warm. But early next week, there is going to be a drop by looking at it in the upper air temperatures. Now, then they say generally at or under average as we go through the first week of October. Might be a little bit of a warmer showing up there later on into the first week of October. But it does look a little bit zonal, actually, uh, that with sort of warmer and uh, cooler sectors alternating. Um, Precipitation-wise, also getting much more unsettled as well. So the next two, three days, going to have lots of dry weather. But over weekend and through next week, going to start turning more and more unsettled. There are some pretty big precipitation spikes there through the middle and latter part of next week and then on into the first week of October. So, uh, yes, we could well be about to unleash the Atlantic a little bit and uh, turning much cooler and much more unsettled by the look of it as we go through uh, next week. Will it verify? You know, uh, we've been here before, but uh, but at the moment we have got very good agreement across all models that uh, a change is coming to uh, much more unsettled and cooler weather by the early part of October. Temperature anomalies from the 23rd of September to 1st of October are going to be above average through the UK and Ireland. And the precipitation anomaly from the 23rd of September to 1st of October is going to be a uh, driver and average from many parts of England. Um, near normal for Wales and uh, southern Scotland. And actually a little bit above average, which is something we've not been able to say for quite some time. A little bit above average for rainfall for northern and western Scotland and also uh, perhaps for Northern Ireland. So signs of a change there. Latest wind from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that we're already bringing in westerly winds, albeit high pressure is clinging on uh, across more southern areas. There's still quite a bit of high pressure through here, but further north, the Atlantic is lining up. We talked about this in the videos over the past few days. So the, the North Atlantic looking livelier. There's the remains of Odette uh, as well. I suppose that's just adding uh, more energy into the jet stream overall. And, uh, and so very gradually, day by day, we have got this situation where the high pressure has been eroded and weakened and like a death by a thousand cuts, really, um, until eventually the high pressure is going to uh, completely collapse by the early part of next week. Uh, right, so let's bring you, start bringing you some chart data. Let me see how the UK Met is looking for midnight on uh, Sunday. So still the ridge is clinging uh, on by its fingertips to our south and east, but low pressure is deepening in the Atlantic. And as we go from Sunday into Monday, in comes the low pressure. And, and clearly as we go to next week, there's a much more unsettled flavour to the weather with low pressure heading in off the Atlantic Ocean. At times, the Azores side will still try to throw up a ridge, not all that far away from us, but it, it looks like next week the Atlantic is more vigorous. Um, particularly around the middle of next week, that low there could bring quite a lot of heavy rain across many parts uh, of the country. And although this ridge is building up in the wake of that by midnight on Thursday, which is as far as we get with the uh, UMF, we are trying to build up a little bit of a ridge from the southwest. I suspect more low pressure in the North Atlantic will just roll over the top and flatten that off. So next week is looking, uh, you know, significantly uh, more unsettled. Uh, this average GFS midnight run uh, was looking. So again, high pressure being eroded further by midnight on Sunday. Low pressure out in the North Atlantic. That pushes across the country through the course of Sunday into Monday. Wet night, wet and windy night across most parts of the country on Sunday night. And then that introduces a much cooler push of westerly winds and, uh, and unsettled weather. And then through next week, it's uh, unsettled low pressure coming in off the Atlantic with spells of rain. Showers in between. There will be a few little transient ridges here and there, giving us uh, uh, the odd drier day. But overall, low pressure is in the ascendancy uh, next week. It's a big change being indicated there by the uh, midnight GFS run. And that's how we look at day 10 with low pressure right over top of the country. Um, so, yeah, further showers, if not longer spells of rain and cool as well. There's the uh, remains of, uh, or it could still be a hurricane actually at this point. There's uh, Sam. Anyway, moving into the North Atlantic, what does the midnight GFS run do with that? Actually brings it up to Iceland, or between Iceland and Scotland, it develops it into a significant area of low pressure. Wrong way out now, of course, it's the 7th of October, so no guarantee this uh, comes off. But this low is the remains of uh, major Hurricane Sam, and it's giving us a spell of very wet and windy weather there on the 7th of October. Of course, that uh, the remains of that hurricane could go anywhere in the North Atlantic, so we might not necessarily be directly impacted by by that low. Because uh, we're so far out. Right, we finish up on uh, Saturday the 9th of October. 
in a cool and showery northwest wind. If this is right, then the first 10 days of October are going to be very unsettled and uh, pretty cool and uh, wet and windy a lot of the time. Uh, six days looks like this. This is the very latest GFS run. Again, the change is taking place on Sunday, as this low or begins to take place on Sunday, as low pressure comes in off the Atlantic Ocean. By Monday, we're firmly into a run of westerly winds around an area of low pressure, so it's a completely different air mass, and uh, and will be much more unsettled. Middle next week looks a little bit uh, unsettled as well. Low pressure coming in from the North Atlantic. That will bring some amounts of rain uh, with it. We'll try to build up a little bit of a transient ridge there on Thursday uh, next week. But uh, that's soon flattened off as the next low comes in. And that brings more spells of rain towards the end of uh, next week, the 6Z. Um, and we finish up looking like that. So, again, the next low is knocking on the door of Western Scotland by day 10. Uh, and that low also sort of brings quite unsettled conditions. There's the remains of the, or at this point could still be, Hurricane Sam uh, just there, moving into the North Atlantic uh, by the uh, 5th of October. The 6th then sort of stalls that uh, out to, uh, in the middle of the Atlantic, does not give us a direct hit. But the upshot of that is to build up this ridge uh, to the south of Green. And so we finish up with the 6th head pulling in what could be really quite a cold northerly wind. Again, it's all just uh, options and possibilities at the moment with that uh, X hurricane. Uh, right, GM looks like this. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a smash like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. Uh, right, the GM uh, shows that high pressure is breaking down on Sunday as low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. That's midnight on Monday, looking properly wet and windy then. Across most parts of the country into the middle of next week. Unsettled low pressure digging in uh, from the North Atlantic. Um, and this was really unsettled, actually. More unsettled than GFS, even. Uh, so deep low pressure uh, off the east coast of uh, England and Scotland by the end of next week. Pulling in a very cool northerly wind. And the low will bring showers and longer spells of rain. Potentially some very wet weather to the northern half of the country of that in particular. And we'll just keep it very, <coughs> excuse me, very unsettled right way up to day 10, which is uh, certainly the 3rd of October. Low pressure is uh, is in, in control of the weather. And uh, secondary features rotating around this main area of low pressure to the north of Scotland will bring enhanced uh, bands of rain, probably. Then the ECM looks like that. So uh, once more, Sunday is like the breakdown of the area of high pressure. In comes the lows from off the Atlantic on uh, Monday, or midnight, Sunday to Monday. That will bring wet and windy weather through the country. It gets out of the way through Monday. We're left with sunshine and showers on a blustery westerly wind. And then further low pressure ding in from the Atlantic. Troughs of low pressure, anyway, bring further showers, if not longer spells of rain. And right way up to day 10, which is the 3rd of October. We're looking unsettled and pretty cool here with bouts of rain and quite strong winds as well. This will be a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. So a few more days of main dry weather. Some showers will break out over weekend. But again, the emphasis over weekend is going to be on dry weather. This is the weather front. This is the, the change uh, that's uh, bringing heavy rain into Island there. Uh, and then that pushes through during Sunday into Monday. Taking heavy rain right way across the country. Even in the south where it's so parched at the moment. Uh, even there we get some heavy rain pushing through uh, early on uh, Monday morning. That clears out of the way. We're left with sunshine and showers, and then further secondary areas of low pressure coming in, bringing, uh, you know, a, a, a advanced um, areas of rain, uh, rainfall through the course of next week. Some quite wet weather mixing as well, and in between those areas of rain, there will be uh, sunshine and showers uh, as well. Uh, we get towards day 10, and uh, again, looking very unsettled there. So this is a big, big change that's coming up. If these models are right, and, you know, they're sticking with the theme, unlike what happened before, where they will go and settle for a while, and then they'll back off. They are sticking with this uh, now. All these models are sticking with the idea, but it's, next week is unsettled. This is a big, big change in the weather pattern that they are predicting here. Uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensembles today for day 10, which gets us to the 3rd of October. 25 members of the ECM Ensembles have a northern blocking signal. Uh, this is from the Icelandic Met Office, by the way. They're back today. We didn't have them yesterday. So, um, 25 members of the ECM Ensembles have high pressure sort of, uh, blocking to our north, a trough low pressure, uh, close to Scotland. Looks rather showery and quite cool with that. 15 with a mid-Atlantic ridge extending up towards northern blocking, low pressure, is to our east and winds 
are coming in from the north with that. So, uh, I mean, it's not overly unsettled or overly wet, but it will be quite cool. And then 11, including the operational run, uh, have us under a deep area of low pressure, wet and windy at day 10. Maybe not great support for that uh, option with the ECM operational run. But even the other two, you know, are, are rather unsettled anyway. In two minutes' time, uh, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 8th of October. 20 members of the ECM ensembles will have high, will have high pressure to our south and west. Some sort of low pressure for northeast of Scotland. And winds probably on a northwest southeast sort of uh, alignment. Could be a little bit dry, but probably quite cool. 17 have high pressure back. So this might only be a short interruption to the high pressure dominated weather. And then we might get some high pressure back. You know, as we go towards the end of the first week of October. I expect it will be a much cooler ridge if high pressure does come back. I think mean, after this uh, switch to unsettled conditions, it will be a cooler ridge and the wind will probably be coming in from the northeast. But nevertheless, you know, uh, we might find ourselves back to high pressure again. And then 14 just here have high pressure over Scandinavia ridging into the UK. Again, that's totally mostly dry, but will be pulling in. Uh, northeast winds if that comes off. So it's possible it will only be a short interruption to the anticyclonic theme. Um, but if high does come back, I reckon it's going to be a cooler ridge, probably. CFSV2, uh, last week we used a 500 mil of our heights breaking down to week pairs. The first week pair takes from 23rd, 29th of September, coming week. Has lots of low pressure to our north and northwest, and we're bringing in wind from a westerly direction. The high pressure sort of collapsing southwards and eastwards, so obviously that's turning uh, much more unsettled. Week two is going to be the 30th of September, 6th of October, with low pressure right over top of the country. Showers on spells of rain and cool. Uh, but back to high pressure by week three, this is the 7th to the 13th of October. Ridge uh, comes back. It's probably a cooler ridge, but nevertheless, we go back to high pressure. Uh, for the second week of October. And that doesn't last all that long either. By the 14th, 20th of October, week four, low pressure is back in business and it is going unsettled again. So quite changeable uh, during oct October with uh, high and low pressure alternating week by week. So that's how I'm talking today. If you enjoyed the video, then please give me a smash your like button. Make sure to sub to the channel. Thank you so much, everybody. For doing that, drop a comment, let us know what you think. And don't forget to tell your friends, family to subscribe uh, as well. That is incredible if you can do that for us. Uh, we've just hit, I believe anyway, uh, we had about an hour ago, just hit 12.1k. Um, uh, so uh, we've got our first 100 within 12,000. And uh, and so our next sort of mini target will be 12,200 subscribers. And ultimate target is 13,000 subscribers at the moment. Sub's moving quite quickly now. So thank you so much for getting us this far. And please give us a sub if you have not yet done so. Right, uh, so that's it for today's video. Just tell you what's coming up tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have the 7 a.m. broadcast. I'll be ECMWF 6 weeks. We'll get tomorrow as well. Um, we're going to have Jeremy Friday and 10 to 14. day four video uploads for you and a live stream after 10 p.m. So it's all going to be happening tomorrow. Keep checking back uh, tomorrow for all of the updates, videos, and live streams, and everything else. Um, but uh, for today's videos and for this video, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.